just going to move you down here a little bit more so you can maybe see. Yeah. Maybe if I get a little bit closer here. Okay, there we go. There. And then we are going to sprinkle on our seasoning. And that's about a quarter cup. And I want a lot of seasoning on here. And we will set that aside. And the seasoning we're using today is called Lumberjack Seasoning. And we're going to give that a try. And then I have some onions. Throw those in there. And I got it on high. My beef heart I'm going to cover now with just plain old everyday water. I use bottled water. Most people know who watch my channel here know I always use bottled water. And I'm just going to cover it up. I did the same method with my beef tongue yesterday. I'm going to cover it up by about, oh, cover it up about by a quarter of an inch. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to put the cover on. And my crock pot here. And like I said, whoop, I got it on high. And I'm going to let it cook all day like I did yesterday with my, um, whoop, come on. Just going to go on here today. There we go. And I'm going to cook it on high probably for six to seven hours. Like I did yesterday with the beef tongue. I put that in about the same time yesterday morning, about 10.30 in the morning. And I checked it about 03 and it wasn't quite ready yet. And then um, I let it go until about six o'clock and then I took it out and took the skin off and etc. So today we're going to let this cook. I will check it. Oh, probably about the same time, 3 o'clock. That's when I come in here roughly to feed my dogs, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I will check it again, and we'll see how it's going. But that's all we're going to do for now. So, I hope you come on back later. And I'll take a peek at our beef heart. It has been in the crock pot on high for... Oh, about, let me see what time here, yeah, roughly. I would say about, oh, about four and a half hours. So I'm just going to check it now before I start my own dinner and the dog's dinner. Whoop, we'll go this way. Don't mind my whatever. And um, so it's got, I would say, a good, oh, mm, a couple more hours, three, four hours yet, I would say. But I'm going to check it just to see. Looks good. Wow. Nice. Looks good. Yep. And my butcher cut, cut it in half, or cut it flat for me. And then um, I cut it in half. So it looks good. I am going to cut off like this fat here when I uh, cut it into cubes. I don't want to, I don't think I need that on there. But it does look like it needs a little bit more time for tender, you know, for tenderizing. Or to get a little bit more tender. It feels not as tender as I would like it to be. I can just tell by going like this on the meat with my tongs here. I can tell it's still not real tender. And like I said, I'm going to be making a heart beef heart stew with it. And I'm going to be cutting the pieces in relatively big chunks. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let it just go a little longer here. It looks good. That's sh all I can say here right now, but I am going to let it sit in here for another couple hours and um, let it get good and tender. So I will be back with this recipe or with this uh, beef art 
in uh, roughly, oh, I would say three hours, six o'clock should be good for this. Because right now it's three o'clock. So I will be back in a couple hours and we'll take a look at it then. And then I'm going to let it cool like I did yesterday with the tongue, beef tongue. Cover it with tin, put it on bowl, cover it with tin foil. Let it sit until it's cool enough for me to cut it up and or cut it into cubes. And then I'll be done. And I'm going to freeze it and uh, save the broth once again. And then when I want to make it into a beef stew or beef stroganoff for an easy dinner, I can. It'll already be already cooked so I don't have to do anything with it except, you know, make a quick meal with it. So that's what I'm going to do with this. You said I smelled. Like a child egg. Huh? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Woo, that's hot. That is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Very hot. Okay. Ooh, that's nice and tender. Now we got it done. Okay. Who do you want the bird to get? I want them to get a guy named... Right? Mike Zunino. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, they are right now? Yeah, they are. Five and eight? No, no, they're six to nine at the end of the year. No. Oh. What? That doesn't make any sense because they still have two more games to go. They might be six to nine, actually, because they played off and probably lose that game. And then they played the play, they Vikings, the don't they? they? Thank you, okay? Don't they play the Vikings? treat for you. It almost has a, a liver smell to it to me, but it looks really tender here. And like I said, my husband loves it. And uh, he will be the one probably eating most of it. I'm going to make, I think, a stew with it and just um, add it to the stew at the very end of cooking time. Yeah. And there we go. That's about it. So that is my B part done and cubed. And I'm going to throw it into a freezer baggie, pop it into my freezer, and in a couple weeks, probably after all. Oh, I don't know, after things settle down a little bit and we want something different to eat, I'll make uh, a beef heart stew with uh, beef broth and carrots, potatoes, onions, celery, just like I do a regular beef stew, or I'm going to be using the beef heart, and we'll just add the meat after, you know, the vegetables cook for a while, 
and um, see how that tastes. It looks like it's going to be really good, and I don't know why it wouldn't be. So um, I hope you have a good day, and I hope you give this recipe a try and just see. Um, when we purchase a half a cow or a quarter of a cow every year, and they always, sometimes twice a year actually, they always ask us if we want the heart and the liver and the tongue and um, a lot of people say no I don't want that but uh, we say yes because my husband does like it and it's good for you and it's you know relatively inexpensive so it's a good cut of meat if you do something a little different with it like a beef stew oh there go my dog and uh, I don't know what they're barking at but they always seem to find something to bark at so I hope you give the recipe a try and uh, you have a good night.